This is the Gator Bit, a breakout development board for BBC's Microbit. It breaks out almost every pin on the micro bit to alligator clippable pads that are also protected against over voltage and overcurrent conditions like short circuits. Along the bottom, you have ADC pins 0, 1, and 2, as well as the pins connected to buttons A and B, and then in the center, you've also got pins 8 and pin 16. Along the left side, you have the I2C and SPI pins. These are also digital pins, which can be used to read and write digital data. Breaking out the communications pins gives you access to all of SparkFun sensors with the microbit. A great sensor combo pack that currently works with GatorBit and MakeCode is the environmental sensor combo, which is the BME280 and the CCS811. On the right side, you'll see the power ports. The JST terminal is for hooking up a battery, or you could use the alligator clippable pads for another power source. Up here you have 3.3 volts out and 5 volts out, which is great if you wanted to control a servo motor. Some built-in features to the Gator bit are the five addressable LEDs, also known as NeoPixels. The NeoPixel library is already part of the MakeCode package, so when you're using external sensors with the micro bit, you can use them as data visualizers. Another feature is the onboard buzzer, so that if you want to use the music library, you've got a speaker already on board. On the back of the Gator bit, you'll notice this little character. I have failed to come up with a name for him, so I'd like to open it up to all of you. If you want to respond on Twitter with your name suggestion with the hashtag GatorBit, we'll see if we can't name him. You'll notice that the GatorBit has a couple of switches. So let's first look at power in. On the side you have either tab or bat, and that stands for either using the JST terminated battery or using the VN Gator tabs between 2.7 and 9 volts. Since we're using the battery, let's go ahead and switch the switch down to bat. Now you'll see that the master power LED is on. If we wanted 5 volts out and 3.3 volts out, all we would have to do is switch the V out switch to on. And lastly, we've got the music switch. So here I've got a little project that if I press A, the music will play. And if for any reason you wanted to have it turned off or if you wanted to use P0, you would switch it to off. And those are the Gator Bit switches. Let's go through an example project using the Gator Bit. Here I've made some cardboard circuits and this one just happens to be a light sensor. So let's go ahead and hook it up and see how we can use the LEDs to visualize the light data. So now I'm going to place my hand over the light sensor to decrease the LEDs on the light meter. Some other simple cardboard circuits that we've made is a temperature sensor, a tilt sensor, and an RGB LED. We're excited to see what projects you come up with using the Gator Bit. And if you'd like to see more cardboard circuits, there's a link in the description down below. And don't forget to name this little guy.